Write a go function find square that accepts an integer number n and returns the square of n. Invoke the function and display the square of the number. Test your code, test your code by using the given sample inputs. Verify your code by using the second sample input highlighted given below. If the sample input is 5, it has to return 25. If the sample input is 3, then it has to return 9. So this is it. We pass uh, take the variable declare a variable integer n and pass it to the method find square. When it is passed, it is also important to mention the return type. We take integer parameter, we also going to return integer value. Let's verify this. So we get correct solution. Write a JavaScript function find sum that accepts an integer n and returns the sum of first n numbers. Invoke the function and display the sum of first n numbers. Test your code by using the given sample input. If the sample input is 6, then it has to return 21. 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, it has to give us 21. So this is the code. So we take two parameters, an and uh, the result. So currently we are going to pass 6. So find sum is the method. We are defining it using a function keyword. And we pass this, right from here we pass this, it comes here. Where variable i and sum is equal to 0. We initialize i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. Sum is equal to sum plus 1. Then finally, sum is equal to sum plus i. So let us, let us take a small number. Instead of 6, let us take 3. Then uh, see how it works. So n is equal to 3, and result is equal to 0. Uh, initialization is done. Then we take, uh, we, we call this method find sum. The control flow moves here. The value of n is 3. i sum is equal to 0. Initially sum is equal to 0. Then we later in the within the for loop we initialize i is equal to 1. Now what happens? i is equal to 1, sum is equal to 0. Both the variables are initialized. Now we move on to the loop. i equal to 1, i less than or equal to n. So which means 1 less than or equal to 3. Yes, condition is true. It comes down. Sum is equal to sum plus i sum is equal to currently the value of sum is 0 0 plus i value of i is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 the next one is it goes up increment the value of i i becomes 2 now i plus plus so in second iteration value of i is 2 i is less than or equal to n 2 less than or is equal to 3 condition true comes down value of the sum is previously it was 1 so sum is equal to 1 sum plus 2 currently uh, value of i is 2 sum value is 1 i value is 2 so 1 plus 2 it becomes value of sum becomes 3 then it goes up increment the value of i i becomes 3 now in the third iteration 3 less than or equal to 3 i less than or equal to n condition is true comes down sum is equal to this is sum was holding 3 sum is equal to sum plus i 3 plus 3 it becomes 6 value of i becomes 4 now for the iteration 4 less than or is equal to 3 i less than or equal to n value of i is 4 value of n is 3 4 less than or is equal to 3 condition fails then the process stops right there then finally sum will have it returns the value of sum 6 will get returned here and the same is printed